Hi everybody and welcome to Fab Tax. I'm Rosemary and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm excited to share five elegant but simple white Christmas DIYs, including this Winter Wonderland candle holder, these white glitter house stocking holders with lights, a let it snow sign on a stand, this wispy white glitter tree, and this elegant snowflake lantern. If you like the video, please remember to give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. And with that, let's get started. For the first project, I'll be doing the let it snow sign on a stand. And if the stand looked familiar to you from our previous projects, you're absolutely right. It is the balloon weight from the Dollar Tree. If you're familiar with my channel and saw the photo holder DIY, this was the uh, surprise material that was featured in that video. And as you can see, once you remove the wrapping, it has a wonderful um, cement base and then uh, a, a pole that comes out from the middle. And all you need to do to get to that is to uh, remove the outer streamers by just cutting the tape there on the base and then to remove the uh, wired stars. You just need to cut around uh, the stars a little bit so you can see where the wires are going because uh, once you see where they are, you see that it kind of loops through the middle pole and so you have to just remove those stars so that you can see where the wires are. And then you can just kind of push it through, cut off the excess wire, and then after you do that, you'll be able to just uh, pull the rest of the wire through the middle of the pole. If you missed the photo holder video and would like to see how I made photo holders out of these balloon weights, I will link the video here and in the description box. Once I was done removing all the wrapping and wires from the first one, I went on to the second one, and now I'm going to take both balloon weights and the sign and paint them with white paint. You can use either spray or brush paint. Once everything was painted, I just wanted to cover up that little hole. So I just cut a piece of the cardboard from the tag of the Let It Snow sign. And I just took some white glue and applied that piece of cardboard to the back of the sign. And then that just created a little stop there for the glue that I'm going to put into the hole and just try to cover that hole up a little so that we don't have that when the sign is finished. Then I wanted to add some white glitter to the sign. So I just took some regular school glue and just applied it to the tops of the letters the way snow would be falling on a ledge or something like that. And I just went through uh, adding all the glue first and for the little snowflake I covered the entire snowflake with uh, the white glue so that I could go back with the glitter and it would cover the entire surface of the snowflake. Then I went back with the paintbrush and just spread the glue around um, especially on the snowflake, I really wanted to make sure it was covering the entire snowflake. Next, I just took some white glitter and sprinkled it all over the glue areas. I also wanted to give the base of the sign a snowy finish, so I went back to my balloon holders and took some white glue again, uh, spread it all around with a paintbrush, made sure I got it into all the little nooks and crannies of the cement, and then uh, just proceeded to sprinkle some glitter over that as well. For a finishing touch, I just went back with uh, some of these little ornament snowflakes from the Dollar Tree. Uh, they come about eight to a pack for a dollar and um, just hot glued those to the base of the balloon weight. And then using some E6000 as well as some hot glue, I glued the sign to the balloon weight base. And here's the finished project. For the next project, I'm gonna do the Winter Wonderland candle holder. And with this one, I'm going to be using these wonderful ornaments from the Dollar Tree, these 
uh, frosted tree or, uh, ornaments. And then also just this uh, small can of dog food. You can use cat food, tuna, um, any other can that you have available. And um, what I'm going to do is going to be placing these, gluing these all the way around the vase, this Dollar Tree vase. But first I want to create a base. Now I'm doing this incorrectly, actually. Um, what I should have done here first is attached it to the base and then painted the whole thing uh, with the white base paint and then proceeded to do the glitter. But I kind of did a little backwards, but if you're going to be doing this project, I would suggest that you do it in that order. Uh, glue the base to the vase, then paint the vase and the base with the white paint, and then do the glitter application. So here's my can after I've painted it white. Now I'm gonna just go in with a little E6000 and a little hot glue and attach the can to the bottom of the vase. Then I'm going to add the glue and the glitter. But like I was saying previously, I should have just glued the base and then painted everything white and then glittered. And the reason for that is because as you'll see, the glitter on the vase is a little too translucent. And so I have to go back and um, kind of backfill the white paint. But before I did that, I went in and I just added the trees to the vase using both E6000 and hot glue. And I'm just kind of putting the glue where the branches touch. And when you put the ornament against the vase, you'll see what I mean. It kind of, uh, the by the, you know, the shape of the tree, it kind of only really touches the surface in certain places. And so that's only where I put the glue. So the first tree can go anywhere on the vase, but then the second tree I place directly across from the first tree so that I can get them lined up evenly. And then the third tree goes in between the two of those, and then the fourth tree in between the two of those. So this is where I really wasn't loving that translucentness um of the uh, glitter on the vase, so I just went inside the vase with some white paint and painted behind the glitter. And here is the finished project. For the White Glitter House stocking holders, I took these little Christmas Village houses from the Dollar Tree, and they come all different kinds, post office and a little church and a couple houses. And then these little uh, shadow box plaques from the Dollar Tree. And then I just popped out that middle section, because I'm not gonna need that, but I am gonna need to fill these since they will be stocking holders and I need something to counterbalance the weight, I'm going to fill them with these river rocks from the Dollar Tree. And so how I do this is I hot glue them in uh, one layer on the bottom, but then I go on top of that layer with another layer of rocks. Now the only thing about this is you have to make sure that the rocks are not protruding um, over the edge of the box, and I'll show you that in a second but um, otherwise we're not going to sit flat. Like if I take this one big uh, rock here, you can see where it kind of still, it pops out over the edge. So I can't use that one. I'm going to go back in with something that's flat and then I can, you know, it'll stay within the edges. And then um, I'm going to use these adhesive hooks from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the backing because I do want a stronger hold. So uh, instead I'm going to use the E6000. I'm going to put it just to the top of the hook. And then I'm also going to add a little hot glue because I wanted to just, you know, hold while the E6000 sets up. And then I'm going to make sure that it kind of has a little bit of a lip. It's not like even. It has, it's kind of hanging over the edge because as a stocking holder, it's going to need to hang over the edge of a shelf or a mantle. And then once um, all the hooks are on, I'm going to spray paint the houses and the shelves white. And this is what they look like when they're done. You see the little stones on the bottom. And then I'm going to do the whole glue and glitter treatment at this point. And now for the little houses, they're going to be getting some glue and glitter as well. And I'm going to be putting glue and glitter all over the roofs, on the edges, on the window sills, on the doorsteps, along the sidewalks, and on the sides of uh, the base of the houses.
Now for these houses, I'm not going to be gluing the houses to the base because they do have the option to uh, light up. So you can just get these little tea light candles and they fit right in the bottom of the little house and you can turn them on. It's kind of hard to see them in the daylight, but you can kind of see some of the light peeking through there. And if you do it that way, you have the option to light them up if you want. And here's the finished project. Next, I'm going to make the white glitter wispy tree with this silver tree and this paper towel holder from the Dollar Tree. And also 10 of these white glitter branches that I got at Walmart. To better show you how I was doing this, I uh, took the silver off of one of the Dollar Tree trees so that you could see kind of the skeleton of it. And you can see here, well, all I'm doing is I'm putting the stem right through uh, the middle part and then out through the top part. And so I will do the same on the silver tree. I just wanted you to see it on this so you can see how I'm doing it. It's a little hard to tell um, with, uh, with, you know, with all the silver on it. So um, basically I'm just kind of feeling around for the skeleton because now I know what it looks like. And then I'm just kind of pushing it up through that center piece again and then out through the top piece. And I'm going to do that for each of the six sections. Each section gets one branch. So I'm again feeling for that middle part. And here we can see um, on the skeleton piece, there's the middle part. And so I'm gonna go through the bottom of the middle part and wrap it around that uh, cross ba uh, brace and then out through the top. And again, I'm gonna do that for each of the six sections all the way around the tree. Once all of my six bottom branches have been inserted into the tree, I'm going to take my four remaining branches and I'm going to um, kind of lay them around the top. So there you can see I have my six branches. There's all six of them. Now I'm going to take the four remaining branches and I'm going to lay them on top of the six branches, kind of covering the top portion of the tree. And I'm going to just keep applying those branches and holding um, holding them in one hand and kind of applying them in the other until the whole uh, top layer of the tree is covered. Now um, I'm going to take those four branches and at that first little uh, indentation I'm going to take a wire cutter and just cut them off there. I don't need all that excess stem. And then once those stems have been cut I go in with a zip tie and just secure the top portion of the tree. Lastly I just took one of these uh, mini snowflakes as well as one of the smaller uh, ornament snowflakes and just glued the two together and then hot glued those to the top of the tree. And both of those I did get from Dollar Tree. And here is the finished project. The next project is going to be a variation of a wood lantern that I did several months back. In this video, if you didn't see it, I gave uh, multiple different options on how to create quick and easy wood lanterns. As a quick recap, I basically use a base and a lid, usually these types of shadow boxes from the Dollar Tree, and then a set of four risers. In this case, I'll be using wood dowels from Walmart. If you'd like to see more options, please check out the original video, which I will link here and in the description. I start by adding some E6000 glue to the base of the riser, and then also along the side of the riser, and then above that strip of E6000, a strip of hot glue. And then I just attach it to the inside of the base. I then repeat this step for all four risers. And this forms the body of the lantern. For the feet and toppers, I use a variety of different Dollar Tree or household items. And for this project, I'll be using the Dollar Tree sink plunger for the topper. For the feet, I'm excited to share some new Christmas items that weren't available when I did uh, the original DIY, but uh, these are these little drums that come 12 to a pack from Dollar Tree. And um, you want to make sure that when you're cutting off, you want to trim this little uh, ornament hanger, but don't cut where the knot is, otherwise the whole drum will pull, fall apart. So just want to be able to cut right away just to get some of that excess off, and then go ahead and hot glue and E6000 the feet to the base. Also, I'm going to use this candlestick from the Dollar Tree to hold the battery-operated votive. One other thing I wanted to show you, but I won't be using, is this wonderful bell from the Dollar Tree. Again, new with the Christmas items, but what a wonderful uh, topper this would make. Uh, it has the ring and the nice bell shape, 
and would make a great topper for maybe one of your other lantern projects. Um, I'm still going to be using the sink plunger here, but I just wanted to show that to you. I then took some white paint. You can use either spray or brush, and I painted the feet and the votive holder. Since my plunger was already painted from the previous project, I went ahead and just added my little uh, mini snowflake ornaments, hot gluing them to the front and back. Then I glued the decorated sink plunger to the lid using uh, E6000 and a little hot glue. So now my lantern and my votive holder are both painted white. And um, for the insert of the lantern, I'm going to use this votive holder with the silver candle from Dollar Tree as the insert. But first, using the large three to a pack of snowflakes from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to apply um, a large snowflake to the bottom and then a medium six to a pack snowflake to the top. And I'm going to just uh, apply that with hot glue and with some E6000. And then when I flip it to the next side, I'm going to switch the order. I'm going to put the big one on top and the small one on the bottom. And then once again, when I flip it to the next side, I'll put the small on the top and the large on the bottom. This is just going to give it a little variation and um, give it a nice look. And there's the finished look from the top on. I'm going to just put my votive and votive holder inside. And then here is the finished project. Well, I hope you have enjoyed these White Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs. The little joy house shown here can be found in another video, and I will link that in the description box. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give us a thumbs up, and please share with any family and friends you think would also enjoy these DIYs. If you have a favorite, please let me know in the comments down below, along with any questions or suggestions you might have. If you're not already a subscriber and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.